And I think that also like in the aspect of comparison, being able to flip that comparison as motivation in the sense of like, they did it, I can do it type situation rather than being like, oh my gosh, I, I, I hate them because they did it. And like, I'll never be able to do that where it's like the, uh, the individual who's has done it is, is, um, what is this, uh, like a, a testimonial that it's possible more mm -hmm. so. And so you're using that as, as motivation. And also like, that's one of the things that from, uh, like I would say over the last really 10 years that I have done within like my friends of, of having people around me that bring out the best in me, but also motivate me of like, yo, they've been able to do this and I admire that so much. And I think that this is so cool that they've been able to do it. It also means that I can do it and that they are, are a living testament that it's possible and I can, you know, find my own path of, of success just like they did type situation. And that's exactly how I started coaching. Truthfully, I saw other people be successful and I started a YouTube channel. I got made fun of for it and I got roasted for it by everyone in my life at that time. But I saw people making money doing something they loved and I thought, why not me? Instead of sitting there bitter and frustrated and picking them apart, again, that's something that happens with comparison is you start picking someone else apart because of their success or because you feel bad about yourself. I looked at it and I thought, if they can do it, I can freaking do it. I started my YouTube channel, started things on Instagram, started coaching, and I was able to create a life doing something that I was extremely passionate about because I compared myself to someone else and I saw that they could do it. And so again, why not me? And I used that as a catalyst for change instead of allowing it to completely break me down and letting myself be bitter because they had something I didn't have.